Hey kids, it's Thursday again. Uh, I enjoyed your videos last week about your TV shows, and I really enjoyed the theme song to Meg's one that I've never heard of before, but it sounded cool. So, my life's been the usual for yet another week. Uh, John came, I went to class every day. Uh, this morning though, I went to the school, the intermediate school, and worked with a third grade special education teacher. And it was really fun. Like, I only sat there and, like, watched, and I went to another class with two of her kids and watched them in their regular class. But I really enjoyed it, and I always feel so much better when I leave a classroom, because I'm just like, yeah, I do like teaching, and I'm doing the right thing with my life. Because, I don't know if you guys go through this, but do you ever once in a while, it's like, what the heck am I doing? This is such the wrong choice. I'm an idiot for doing this. Yeah, so I get like that a lot. And whenever I get back into a classroom or like back to work teaching some lessons or something, I remember that I really like it. And then I'm also really like, I know I said before that I wanted to do school psychology for like grad school and stuff, but now I'm like really getting into it and really getting excited about that idea a lot. Like I like it because of this special ed class because it's a lot of talk about that. And literally like, there was one point where she was like, I'm going to show you, like, the test that you give her for some examples and, so, and like, some give you a list next week of the signs of certain disabilities. And I'm sitting there like, yeah, oh, I'm excited for that. And I'm like, I'm such a dork. <laughs> so, yeah, the, but me and my friend as of last night are starting to try and have a workout regimen of some kind. But last night we went out to the track, at, like, really late and just kind of walked around every once in a while. But it was really cold, so we were getting really numb, and we were like all tingly. And we went star spinning, which is the thing I learned from Megan. She's sitting over there smiling. Yeah. <laughs> and, well, it's really weird. You literally just go outside and stare at a star and spin in circles for a while, and then stop and have someone shine a light in your face, like we used a cell phone or something. And it is really, really hard to not fall down. Like, you just lose all control over your balance and drop. Like, the one time Kristen thought I was going to stay up. Like, Kristen stayed up once. But I, like, was staying there for a second. And then just dropped back. Like, it is really surprisingly hard, but really fun. So, we probably looked stupid to, the, like, one guy that was walking around. But we had a good time, so who cares? But then we did a workout video for our abs, and I'm, I'm like, really sore. And today, so we were making the schedule, and I was like, I want to do Zumba stuff. And... We were like, alright, we'll have Zumba Fridays, but then we decided to change the schedule and move Zumba to Thursdays, but left it as Zumba Friday. So today is Zumba Friday, and I haven't done it yet, so maybe if she wants to do some late night, late night Zumba, I will actually. But yeah, so that's my weekly workout, is a couple workout videos and stuff, because we're too embarrassed to go to the gym and have people judge us. So we just do it alone in her room and judge ourselves. Me and my friends have gotten into a thing of writing songs. Well, really, we've written two, and really, it's mostly my friend Kristen writing lyrics. But the first one was uh, about creepy guys and running into them when you don't want to. And the second is about quiet hours, because me and Kristen tend to get in trouble for those often. Just because we have no awareness for our own voice. We don't... Like, it's not that we don't care about other people, like, wanting us to be quiet. It's that we don't realize we're being loud in the first place. So, we get irritated by quiet hours and getting in trouble for it, so we wrote a song about it. And I wish I could tell you more about it, but it's a little bit talks about certain people. Yeah. So, but it's really fun. Alright, that was already pretty much a decent little kind of journal entry. Like, it's probably boring for you guys, and definitely boring for anyone who doesn't know me. But I do like to have some kind of little theme thing that we can all do and have our videos interconnect. So I referred to my copied Five Awesome Girls theme list and have chosen nicknames. <laughs> I figured it would be short because I've already talked a lot about my life and bored you. But um, nicknames, I have not had a lot in my life, but people around me have a lot, it seems. I have a ton. <laughs> I, the only like consistent, Shane Meister. Our friend from high school, back in the day, would always call me Chelly Belly. Or, yeah, that was it. 
and it was really random. I forget how it started, but like elementary school, she did that. So that lasted for a couple years. Um, but like it's funny because we had to do our research on our names for senior English. And they were like really weird nicknames. Like, I think Charlie was one of them for Chelsea. But there was definitely uh, Chelby, which John likes to call me. It's really awful. But yeah, people around me, I feel have a lot of names. Like my family has a lot of nicknames for people. Oh, like for my family, I guess Baby June is a nickname because Mary Kate's Gypsy and my mom is Mama Rose. So Mary Kate calls me Baby June and I call her Gypsy. And then my mom likes to call me Chelsea Brett, but she's barely a nickname. So. Those, I guess, Ch Baby June does count. But my family has a lot of nicknames, just in general. Like, Sean Mike, we call Scene, Schmike. Uh, and then my uncle, like, always had nicknames. Like, I think he called my brother Tank. And then my sister just has a ton of them that I guess I don't want to take up her talking about them. But, so yeah, she's got Gypsy to me, plus her other random ones that she can tell you about. Um, so I've talked sufficiently about my life and bored you all to tears. I will see you all on your days. Have a good week, guys. Bye. Uh, Why am I singing this Wizard of Oz evil witch song?